If you're a Windows PC and iPhone user, man, do I have good news for you. Microsoft recently announced that you'll soon be able to send iMessages from your Windows PC using the phone link app in your iPhone. What? That just sounds amazing, right? I'm Jason Cipriani with ZDNet, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get early access to the phone link app for iPhone, as well as how to set it up on your PC so you can start sending and receiving messages directly from your computer without having to pick your iPhone up. Let's go. In order to get access to the new phone link app that has iPhone capabilities, you'll actually need to sign up and take part of the Windows Insider program. There's three different channels that the phone link app is currently available in for the iPhone. Uh, compatibility. So you'll need to sign up for either the dev, the beta, or the release preview channel. If you're not someone who frequently likes to deal with bugs and issues, the release preview is probably your safest bet. In order to do that, what you need to do is open the settings app on your Windows PC, go to Windows Update, and tap on the Windows Insider Program option. I've already enrolled, so those options aren't going to show up here for me, but usually there's a link button to link your Microsoft account to the Insider program, and then you're able to choose the different channels. Again, dev channel, beta channel, release preview. This phone link capability for iPhone is gonna be available in all three of those. If you're someone who doesn't like to deal with bugs, go with the release preview. Once you select that, you'll come back and check for an update in the Windows Update section, that's settings, Windows Update. Run that a few times. Your PC is gonna restart after it installs a few updates, Run that until it says no more updates found, and then you should be good to go with the PC portion of this. For the iPhone though, you're gonna to have to install the link to Windows app. It's available in the App Store. If you search it, you'll find it. I'll include a link in the description to this video. There's one other thing you need to do on your PC, and that's go into the Microsoft Store, make sure all of your apps are updated after you've joined the Insider program. The phone link app may or may not need an update. To do that, you can Open the Microsoft Store app. Then you're gonna select Library. You're gonna tap on Get Updates. And if any updates are found, there'll be an Update All button. Tap on that to install all the updates that are available, and you should be good to go. All right, now we're ready to link our iPhone with the PC through the Phone Link app, and this is where all the magic happens. So here's a caveat to this whole entire thing though. Microsoft is not releasing it to everyone that's on the Insider program. It's a slow rollout. So it took me a little bit of time to get access myself, but the way you can tell is if your PC, when you open the phone link app again, and you're enrolled in the Insider program, if iPhone is available, if that button is clickable and selectable, you have access. Otherwise, it'll say iPhone, and then in parentheses, it'll say coming soon, and it'll be grayed out. So if that is your situation, just check back every few days. Eventually, you're going to get access to the service. It's just taking a bit of time, and Microsoft is currently slowly rolling it out. So as you can see, I have access to it. So what I'm going to do is on my PC, I'm going to tap on the iPhone option. A QR code shows up. I've opened the link to Windows app on my iPhone. I'm gonna tap on the menu icon and then pair a new computer, scan QR code, and then I'm gonna scan the QR code. From here, I'll hit continue and you follow the prompts. There's only a few here to pair your iPhone to your PC via Bluetooth. It takes a couple of minutes and there's an extra step we'll do on the iPhone here and I'll show you here in a second to enable notifications to show up on your PC. We'll let that do its magic. All right, so I need to allow notifications. I can hit allow here on this alert, but it doesn't really work. So what you need to do is go to settings, Bluetooth, and then for the computer name, you're gonna tap on show notifications. You can sync your contacts if you'd like. I don't need recents, just favorites work. We'll leave that and then go back to the link to Windows app. On the PC, I'm gonna tap continue. I'm all set. 
give it a second to update and you can see that my notifications that are currently pending on my iPhone here are currently available to see. I'm gonna shrink this down a bit. So those are all, you can see how they look. Just small icons there. After you have everything set up and you start sending messages, there's a couple of caveats you're gonna notice right away. One is that your chat history does not sync. So anything you've sent or received previously to opening the phone link app and establishing a new connection or using it in that session will not show up in your message thread. As you can see here, my messages are completely blank, but I have like a year's worth of message, message history on my iPhone. That's a bummer, but it's not that huge of a deal, really. Another thing is you can't send or receive uh, media, so pictures or videos, you're not gonna be able to view those on your computer, and you can't send them via your computer and your iPhone. You have to pick up your iPhone for that. And group messages are not going to work. You may receive a group message incoming from the individual contact that sent it, but replying to that will mess up the thread, and you'll actually leave the thread for that individual message and it just doesn't work. So group messaging, media, and message, message history will not show up in the app uh, at all, which, you know, it's, it's a bummer, but hey, you're able to send and receive messages from your PC through an iPhone, which is pretty cool. So as you can see, the phone link app here is completely blank. I don't have any messages. But I'm gonna send myself a message to my iPhone from my Android phone and we should see it show up. There it is. So I can then All right, let me attach my keyboard. All right, so now I can reply to this message. And granted, I'm sending a text message through my iPhone here to an Android device, but this does work with iMessage just as well. It's the same exact concept and approach here. Any new messages will show up. And uh, as a new conversation, you can send, reply, do whatever you want. Yes, yeah, so there's a few caveats here, a few drawbacks, right? And they're frustrating, but at least you're able to send messages through a PC now using your iPhone. You couldn't do this before. It's, it's actually pretty darn cool. It's something I really look forward to using. And, and hopefully it continues to grow and Microsoft figures out ways to solve the picture problem or group conversations, although I'm not gonna hold my breath. Keep checking back if you don't have access to it yet after you join the Insider program, or just wait until Microsoft rolls this out to everyone. Probably be a few months still, but at least it's coming. Once again, I'm Jason Cipriani with ZDNet. Make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more tech tips just like this one, as well as all the latest news and reviews. 